This is a very nicely done study that looks at the impact of payer or insurance type on access to helmet therapy for deformational plagiocephaly. Deformational plagiocephaly is simply head flattening due to positioning, and it's very common. The authors nicely show that the keys to successful treatment of deformational plagiocephaly include early diagnosis, early access to treatment, and parental compliance. Other impact factors that they look at specifically in this study are the severity at diagnosis, the age at diagnosis, the insurance payer, of course, and whether or not they got a helmet or if they needed more than one helmet. General but not surprising findings were that the younger children who presented with more severe plagiocephaly as measured by their cranial vault asymmetry indices were more likely to get helmet therapies and helmet therapy was associated with younger age of presentation. Surprisingly, or more importantly, disappointingly, it did show that patients with Medicaid were less likely to get helmet therapy. It also showed that patients with a delay in treatment, which was more common in Medicaid, were light, less likely to get a helmet. And finally, with Medicaid, they were more likely to present late and get a late treatment referral. The reasons for these delays are multifactorial. Some include restrictive practices by Medicaid, such as requirements for duration of passive therapy prior to helmet or referral to specialty providers which delay care. The bottom line is as a provider for children with positional or deformational plagiocephaly, we need to recognize these delays, especially with children who have public health insurance like Medicaid, and make sure we make those referrals early so that they too have the opportunity to use a helmet for this diagnosis if needed. Thank you.